Hello loves. So I wanted to do a quick video today on something that I've been working with and having some revelations around and that's to do with balance. <clears throat> so I was working with one of my mentors last week or earlier on this week and when he was talking about balance he really opened my mind up to start really wondering, pondering, delving into what was actually meant by the word balance. See, when you look up the definition of balance as a noun, it means um, an equal distribution. But as a verb, it means uh, to offset or compare the value of one thing with another. And it got me thinking that we become very fixated on balance, meaning everything's equal. So for example, having a balanced life means being in touch with our mind, our body and our spirit and having balance in those areas. Now the mind then takes the word balance and says, right, it has to be equal. Therefore I set my day up and I will spend equal amounts of time on my mind, on my body, on my spirit. And I got to realizing that it can't work that way because life, unless you've taken yourself out to an ashram or in a mountain top, you know, into a monastery, life doesn't remain the same every day. It, it changes, it ebbs and flows. There's experiences that come in, there are situations that happen, there are other people around you that may trigger or, or create emotions in you. Therefore, having an equal balance in each area is almost not possible and what I realized was for me the revelation was it was more around realizing so my, one of my other coaches he talks about mind body spirit as being like an engine each one's an engine and we have to activate and consciously fire up each engine daily to be able to keep moving forward so if for example work is flowing really well but the spiritual side of our engine is suffering, then that balance between work and spiritual side can't be the same if one is moving forward and one's suffering. We therefore have to look at balance with regards to energy and an energy flow. So we look and we go, okay, so the work side of things is really moving forward well, but there's, there's this stuckness or there's this lack of energy in the spiritual side of things now it's not that we take all our energy away from work but while it's flowing we can then allow that to flow and move and go okay i may need to for a few days put more energy and focus into bringing this <clears throat> spiritual aspect back up fire it back up and get it moving again so it may mean that you still put energy and focus into the work side of things but rather than it being split 50 50 it might be okay well the work thing's going really well that's going to be 40 percent but 60 percent of my energy is going to be around spiritual practices same with the body if your health is suffering so you spiritually you may be open meditating for two hours a day but then your health is suffering because you're not making enough time to prep your foods or to eat well. You then need to look and be able to shift the percentage of energy we're putting into something to create the balance. So I suddenly realized, you know, the mind will grab onto a concept and it will be rigid in, in that concept. I have to have this equal balance. And then we're striving for a balance that's almost impossible to find in a life that flows. Like Bruce Lee says, you know, that life is like water. It, it flows like water. We have to be able to be fluid and flexible and move with that so we can flow over and around the rocks and the obstacles rather than being rigid and being stuck. So for me, it's about cultivating the awareness and the feeling, the, the becoming aware and tuning in with feeling and knowing when something requires a little bit more energy to create balance.
balance. So it's not looking and thinking balance is equal. I'm going to strive to be equal in all areas of my life. It's going balance is achieved through being flexible and movable and knowing when we can offset, like it says in the dictionary, when we can offset the value of one thing against another. So we can look and we can go, work is flowing really well. Spirituality is taking a bit of a hit and we can literally move our energy into creating more balance in the spiritual aspect while still putting energy into the work side of things. It's not withdrawing from one completely and into another, it's noticing this may take 30% of my energy, this may take 60%. Or like my mentor explained, he said like, he will always look, whatever he's doing, 100% energy into that. So if it's if he's talking to a client, it's 100% he's with them. And then whether he's, if he's doing a spiritual practice, 100% of his energy is in that. He's not letting half of his energy drift thoughts into work while he's trying to meditate it's like when I'm in something it's got a hundred percent of my attention my presence and my awareness and then he finds time where to switch off where where he's literally allowing everything to rest and reset so there's this constant ebb and flow with balance it isn't being rigid in thinking everything has to be equal I have to spread my energy equally between all these areas because that's not going to work in a world that changes constantly, in environments that, that move, in experiences that come in to teach us to grow. We need to be able to be movable and flexible. We need to be aware. So when we wake up in the morning, it's looking at all areas of life and knowing, okay, this is my plan for the day. This is where my energy needs to be and making sure that all areas, mind, body, spirit, are covered within that day. And knowing when we're in that moment, it's got 100% of our attention and our awareness, whatever that is. And then when we move into the next area, that again, that has 100% attention and awareness of what we need. And knowing if we're feeling a dip in one area, it is okay to have more energy into that area to bring us out of that dip, rather than trying to cr still create equal balance which isn't going to work when we're when we're dipping in a certain area, but being open, free, flexible, movable, aware is going to create more harmony and more balance in life than being rigid and stuck with the word balance. And, and it is the noun. When you read the noun of balance, that's where it says equal distribution and even distribution. But when you look at it as a verb, it's offset or compare. Being able to compare... Well, actually, mind, body, spirit, one's out of sync. So therefore, if you look at it on a set of scales and there's three scales and there's one that's heavier than the other, but this one's flying high, we can take some energy to this one to help bring it back. See, even the scales are movable and flexible. To be When one's high, one's low, we can offset some of that energy to help bring back and stabilize. So these are things I've been pondering for the last couple of days and it's kind of blowing my mind because I'm able to wake up in the morning, feel into what area needs maybe a little bit more attention than another and focus on that, but knowing that whatever area of my life I'm focusing on in the moment, whether it's work, whether it's being a mum, whether it's um, doing my spiritual practices, when I'm in it, it has 100% of my attention and my awareness and my focus. You know, when you're with someone and if you sat with them for an hour and you sat with them on your phone and you're on your phone, you didn't talk to them for that hour, that's not being present. But if you sat with them for five minutes and gave them 100% of your presence and awareness, they would value that 5%, five minutes more than they would that hour with you. Presence, awareness, movable, flexible. Being able to go with the flow of life. So I hope that gives you something to ponder and think about. I'd love to know your thoughts. Looking at your life and wondering where do I need to find, not more balance necessarily, but where do I need to adjust the balance in my life so that I can bring everything into harmony 
So I'd be interested to know. Comment below and let me know. Have a wonderful day. Take care.